Hey everybody, Blind Builder 1974, Jamie A, and I'm in. Um, I think I kind of told you guys a couple of months back that there would not be a lot in the way of hauls and different things because my collection had kind of got built up and I was needing to kind of slack off and put resources into kind of some other endeavors for the time being. But I do have a really quick, small haul to show you. Um... I did manage back just after Easter to get a couple of the new Series 13 minifigs. I got Hot Dog Guy. And I got Fencer Guy. was really kind of hoping for Carpenter Guy. And I think I had him too, but I could only choose two the day that I went. So it ended up being Hot Dog Guy and Fencer Guy. But... I'll end up maybe getting Carpenter Guy at some point because he'd work really good in my neighborhood. So there's those two small things. I had done a live opening or tried to do a taped opening of those. And doggone it, my camera battery went kaput right in the middle. And I had already opened them and it didn't, the footage didn't save and it was just horrible. So sorry that I couldn't have opened those right from the beginning because that video was really kind of cool the way it happened but then it didn't take so oh well but I did get a couple of other little things I picked up was in Walmart one day and just happened to pick up a poly bag that I saw that was on kind of on sale not very big into the friends concept I really don't like the mini dolls as good as I do the regular mini figs but the pieces come in handy sometimes, and occasionally you can get some really good pieces that are really handy, like the foliage in this case, and um, you know some of the cones and some of the other pieces that are in here are really usable. So it's not likely that I'm going to build that the way it is, but the pieces are kind of cool. So and that one happened, like I say, to be on sale. So can't beat stuff when you can get it on sale and it's usable. And then the other thing I got was this classic set, which is the Creative Supplement 10693 is the uh, call numbers for these. And I just love these. These are just so cool. Um, I'm Although I buy some sets and I'll build some sets verbatim, but I'm kind of the person that just throw me a bin full of bricks and let me see what I can do with it. And so these are just really cool for that. Um, I had bought one of the other little smaller sets a few months back, which I still have. Um, that kind of got assimilated into the collection, and now I have these. But I actually kind of want to get a couple, couple more of some of the ones from this series, just because I think it's just awesome. Just... They give you the pieces, and they do give you a book of ideas, but then you don't have to do the ideas they give you. You can make whatever you want. So these definitely kind of um, are more in my wheelhouse than a lot of the stuff that's a set for other purposes. So love these. And I like that they're trying to kind of go gender neutral on it and make it be appealing to everybody. So like I say, I'll, I'm going to try to get a few more items from this series a little bit along as I'm able to because they're really cool. Um, one of the reasons that I have been trying to save up money and not do a lot of spending is because I'm getting ready to go to Orlando in July for a convention, but I'm trying to sneak in a trip to the Lego store at Downtown Disney while I'm there. And so, and I'm going to need money to spend, of course, I've got to pay my hotel and the registration and stuff for the convention too, which I've done a lot of that already, but um, there's going to be expenses associated with that, too, so I'm not going to have an overly huge amount to spend at a Lego store, but I do have some VIP points saved up. I'm going to try to get a Pick-A-Brick cup because their Pick-A-Brick ball is enormous. I'm also going to try to get a Brickly set because I've always wanted one of those, and you can't find those anywhere else except for at a Lego store or on Bricklink or somewhere like that, but um, since I'm in Orlando, that would kind of be a cool memento to say you actually got a Brickly from the actual Lego store, so that's kind of what I have in mind there, so that there will be probably, provided I get to work that out, there will be a small haul in July again, and then there probably won't be a lot of hauls again until Christmas, it'll be small things a little long, um, 
now that I've kind of built up my collection a little bit, my goal now is to work on using the Lego I have rather than always feeling like you got to continuously add more. Of course you do, but you, you know, you're not always in the position to do it. So this set I think was like $20, which isn't bad at all. Um, I could swing that, you know, uh, you know, every couple of months I could, you know, still blow 15 or 20 on some Lego and kind of add to the collection slowly but steadily that way. Um, so, I will still have small things here and there, but not really any plans to buy any big sets or any huge things right now. Um, still working on the neighborhood, of course, and I'll have an update with that pretty soon because I've added a couple things to it since I've um, posted on it lately. And I also have one more nice, really big announcement to make that I'll go ahead and do now. I found my better webcam. We were doing some cleaning yesterday, and... Somehow it had ended up getting thrown into a bag that ended up in our storage building, which I don't know how it happened, and no one else does one of those weird things. But hopefully I'll be able to make some videos with this, and they'll be a lot better, and um, I hope I'll be able to participate in a couple of Saturday streams coming up once I get this installed and going again. So I'm really excited because the other webcam that I had was just really cruddy. It was not good. It was cheap, and um, the picture wasn't good on it. It never seemed like it was in focus really well, and this one I've worked with before a good bit, and the focusing mechanism is right on the front where I can grab it and not have to worry about um, where, where I'm putting my fingers and that sort of thing, so it'll be easier to focus and easier to manage. So I'm really excited about that. I've missed a lot of Saturday streams lately, and I hate that I've missed it, but the times have just either not been worked out, or um, I wanted to do it last evening, but it was just 10 o'clock. was just too late for me after the day I'd had. We were cleaning all day, and I was really zonked and tired. Um, so I didn't get a chance to join in last night, but the next time that there was one a little earlier, I'm definitely game, and I'm going to try to have a few more things built and have a few more things to show off, and so I'm really looking forward to that. So thanks, everybody, for being patient with me. I'm done babbling now. I'm going to give you a break. Jamie A., Blind Builder 1974, and I'm out.